Hey everyone. Uh, first off, I kind of want to apologize for not uploading much this week. It's actually it's been surprisingly. Uh, every word, <laughs> every word. That not very good English, is it? Uh, there's surprisingly been just stuff happening for me this week. So, yeah. <laughs> Not much I can do about it, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's get a bit of a wriggle on, shall we? Hey, get out the way! Really? Alright. Now, hang on a minute. Wasn't there that uh, place around... We saw something, didn't we? There was like a way round the back, wasn't there? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it certainly was. <clears throat> Sneak in there. Be careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Shush. Right, cousin? Shush. God's sake. Let's just go. Go, go, go. No. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that works. You know what, I probably waited too long. I probably just had to go straight away. <laughs> Typical. Uh, not that's not the right way I'm going. It's uh, okay. So it's a lead chance. All right. <clears throat> Which way are we going with everything? Uh, huh. So it's here that our man keeps his son. Abusive fathers. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that one. <laughs> Let's just sneak around here. Oh, hang on. What the? Huh? Oh, there's people in there. Uh, okay. That's strange. I, I only say it's strange because <clears throat> when I did the, when I uh, did a uh, playthrough, because I did a few missions that were in Serene, and one of them was this one. And when I went through there originally, there was no resistance, so I find that a little strange. Oh, nice. Uh, nothing. I got some good ammo. Well, good, I should say. Oh, <laughs> I'm playing a lot of it, but we've got stuff anyway. Come on, out the way, people. Thank you. You know what? We're just going to lockpick it. You know what, I bet? If we were to unlock that, then go the other way, there probably wouldn't be any guards. Eh, you could use keys. He's just to lockpick the damn thing. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Nothing else in here? All right, Ooh, let's just stand up for this. Move forward, thank you. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I'm Legate of the Congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. I can imagine that'd be the case. Capture me and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. True. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents. 
But that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. I agree, like, it... The mother's been most worried about it all, I think, so... Going and saying goodbye to the mother at the very least is... It, it, I shouldn't say expected, but... It's fair enough. You know? Now... Do we have any guards to deal with? No, we don't. Okay. So let's be cautious. You know what? You know what it is. When I say I went through the first time, there was no guards here. It must have been because I let him out. I used a lock picking skill to get Jonas out of the cell. <laughs> Which then means there's no normal need for guards. But I suppose if you're looking for the key, you probably have to confront Mr. Fontaine and hopefully acquire the key or you have to fight. So, yeah, it probably could have gone one of two ways, I suppose. Can I hear something upstairs? Is that my imagination? Can't tell. Contain warehouses, yep. <clears throat> it's probably just next door now, it's just <laughs> doing the. Nope. What the hell? You tad careful. Okay, should be alright. Is there anything up here? No, but <laughs> that was basically useless. Right. <clears throat> Alright. Now we've gone from the cabin boy. Excellent. Good. <clears throat> right, now what's the... Qu uh, turning... Okay, let's see if I can... All right. I uh, which turn here. Now, as I understand it, with the uh, with different districts, if you change the torso, that <laughs> that's that's so kind of bad. <laughs> you know, if you add uh, the clothing for the torso. They change a jacket or whatever. Uh, as long as to conform with the district, it should allow you to go through uh, inconspicuous. <clears throat> so let's collect what we can. Right, come on, out the way. Thank you, madam. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? No. We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. I'm glad, but My not yet. Boy, Jonas is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. Yes, you do. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. True. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Thank you. Oh, nice. Be back soon, Captain. Ah, oh, nice. Level three. I don't suppose we have. God damn it! <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, let's have a look. Right. What should we do here? Uh, personally, I value the wet. I'm not going to use firearms as much. Definitely going to be using the blade a lot more, I reckon. So... Oh, good. Sharp steel. Everything gets better eventually. I actually had a look at this... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. In detail. 
that was selling these things and one of uh, one of the abilities roll really appealed to me because in a lot of games you know that had the open world you got Witcher 3, Assassin's Creed or things like that so on uh, you can why is that got do I have two points I can use? Oh! I genuinely did not know that! <laughs> oh dear, let's get it. Because uh, in this one, all you can do is dodge, like jump back, you can't actually roll. Well, it's not a, not a perfect roll by that, I mean, it's not first time, it's like... Uh, from what it's, I mean, what does it say? allows you to ro dodge a second time so by that I think it's meaning like on the second attempt if that makes any sense which doesn't it's not terribly useful but is a lot better than nothing <laughs> right let's have a look now let's get our missions sorted out shall we no. Constant close and older pro doublet. Yeah, yeah, I figured that part out. Guns here, take the hideout. Tamper ship right. Let's do this one. <clears throat> so, because I'm pretty sure it's all in the general area. It certainly is. Okay. Right. Now, this one should. That sailor's coat. Maybe that even doesn't give a loot chance. It does. Now I don't know how well you can see this, but <clears throat> underneath, next to the price, is like a little emblem. Now I've honestly never been. On, I actually let's just have a look at this for a second here. That's not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Right, when we cross, I'm going to go over some of these uh, people, go over these people, the short biography of them, just so we keep somewhat up to date. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on a minute, is it, do they tell us anything about the, apparently not. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, will you tell me, please, about... No, it's not going to tell me anything, which is annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, see if we can show how how to identify these, uh, the factions. No. Typical. Zones, yes, I, yeah, thank you, but I kind of like something a little bit better than that. Obviously not. Well, isn't that marvellous? <laughs> uh, can we have... Does he have... No, he doesn't... Oh, hang on, does it give any... Nope, it just tells us that, which is not very useful. Oh, well. <laughs> I was kind of being to show the emblem side. Actually, I think this one, the little, looks like five stars or whatever it is, little yellow dots on it. I think that could be ours. Uh, the uh, congregation. I think that's what it is. Could be wrong there. Let me just, I'm trying to have a good look at this. It looks like... I can't tell whether that's... You know, it says sailors, let's just go with it. I'm trying, I'm trying to identify... Because, you know, a lot of these coat of arms, especially in the old days, you know, they were very identifiable, you know? They related almost directly to... Oh, that's a nought. There you go. It, <laughs> that even solves that for us. <clears throat> it, you know, it the coat of arms are directly related. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Certain costume tours of the faction. Uh, actually, I've never actually paid attention to these coat of arms. So, so one looks like a cross to uh, <laughs> the 
There's a special name for swords back then, I've forgotten it. <laughs> well, swords for lack of a better word, but you get what I'm saying. And there's something that... I don't even know how to describe it to you. <laughs> it sort of looks like a, a star in shackles. I don't know, or a sun in shackles. Allows you to track the guards. It's the brooch. Huh, weird. Anyways. Do you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that symbol instead of a star meaning the uh oh, I've forgotten I know they say take the wheel, but I'm pretty sure there's a special name for it. I've forgotten it. Typical. Let's just go in the mate. Look, we're disguised anyway, so let's just go in the main. Really? Ah. Uh. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. All right. Well, let's head upstairs then. No need to. No need to rush around. Priest robe, okay, interesting. Oh, hang on a minute. What was this? Huh. Just take it nice and easy. No need to rush around. Just sailor taking our friends upstairs for a nice little wander. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. As you were, my hearties. As you were. Just gonna take a nice look at the. <laughs> I love it's like we're trying to be conspicuous. He's just sitting there right at us. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I just find that really funny. Let's just, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, I really just do find that quite funny. <clears throat> so that's a sailor's coat. We don't really need it because we've got everything else. That's good. Oh, recycling. <clears throat> Not exactly the uh, best turns for recycling, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. <clears throat> now. <coughs> That's really cool, because if we didn't, I mean, we could change torso gear if we want to, but having the level 1 really does help quite a lot. Oh. Key to Serene's Harbour Jails. Is that what that was? Let's check that for a second here. That, no, not that one. It's, I keep on using the stack of using the... Uh, the L and R ones that are too. Yeah, Serene Harbor Jails. Okay. Interesting. Here is the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Lovely. So we exit that and good. Got that done. Right, let's get out of here, shall we? We're just gonna take it easy. We could we could rush around. Uh, let me just go around. Let me just do this. Go like this. Okay, nice. <laughs> Rouse guards, right. So, do all this. Let's just have a little wander around. I think that's the best way.
It's alright, Captain. Just wandering around. Just uh, having a browse. Where's he gone? <clears throat> Good. Just take a semi quick jog up there. I'd rather not lock pick, you know, if <laughs> if they're looking. Will you just open up? Thank you. So Oh, oh. I actually I never explored this much. <clears throat> That's actually quite useful. Dean okay, cool. Take all of that happily. Actually, while I'm at it, can I retrofit? Well, no, these gonna be anywhere near better, are they? Not even close. Now you might be wondering why I haven't bothered outfitting a uh, constant terminating half decent. Well, he's due to be a governor, so. What's the point outfitting someone with good gear if they're going to become a governor? Because a governor's not going to join us on the adventures, are they? So I don't see the point in that, honestly. Okay. That's an old hat. 20. Okay, we'll give you that. Slightly better and loot chance as well. Lovely. Happily give you that. Anything... Nothing remotely that good. Okay. <clears throat> Not a problem. That's one of these things I'm fairly OCD about that sort of stuff, you know. Searching the hell out of everything. Where are you going? Okay, lovely. You can go up there. We'll head up there, and we can head down quickly enough. We get seriously. Cute. Just let let her go up that way. Thank you. Bowl of brandy. Well, well, well. That could come in very useful, I reckon. <clears throat> I can imagine we're going to have to loose a couple of sailors' tongues at one point, and uh, not. Aggressively, just <laughs> for the sake of it. Okay. We'll explore around here. A uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients. But it's doable. So I didn't even understand that ingredient, but uh, I'll take I'll take a word for it completely. Where's this? Oh. Okay. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. This guy's a nausea, so it shouldn't be any issue. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's, um. Uh, let's change tactics slightly. Let's go and clear out the, uh. People there at the. Let's just go around the long way, shall we? <laughs> I know it's a slightly arduous, but. A bit easier. So, let's go and talk to these chaps. Uh, don't have the... Lock... Oh, never mind. Anyway. Hello? What can I do for you? <coughs> we're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. Courage! Is clear. Oh, we lovely. Notify the men. <laughs> they need all the time they can get. Oh, that was oh lovely and simple. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, wonderful. 
just the way I like missions to go. <laughs> oh, kidding either. <laughs> Captain, me lady, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Lovely. Oh, nice. Got a bit of extra reputation for the coin guard. Always a good thing. <coughs> Certainly are <a> coin guard. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little wander around here. Nothing like there. <coughs> Check up here. My experience, I won't you climb up something that's out the way. You usually you can find something half decent. If I suppose if <laughs> nosy enough, I suppose. <laughs> oh dear. So that did there was almost nothing. Right. Okay. Oh well. Anything here? Oh <coughs> certainly is. Okay. Interesting. So as far as as twenty five. Okay. I'll leave that for the moment then. 187... No, oh, because I've got it in the wrong... Quick, don't I? <laughs> Doesn't help, does it? Never mind. Good. So, <clears throat> what was success? Oh, a prison. Okay. So, what was supposed to be in here? Hmm. Interesting. Let's just uh, go and find these people. <clears throat> I'll worry about going, having a look in there before we go. <clears throat> just so we don't cre create any unnecessary chaos. I think that would be the best approach, quite honestly. <clears throat> oh! That was straightforward. There. May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Hmm. Right, research? Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it will provoke such a fuss? Our work concerns the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. 
the Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tiafredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But cool. The text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. Oh, okay. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white. And there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. True. <laughs> sounds more like daddy. I mean, deities can be good and bad, let's face it, so... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, escape lab? Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach al -Sad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. True. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering al -Sad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Um, <laughs> I get what they're saying, but if you're convicted as spies, then you might be put at the stake anyway for... Uh, <laughs> I think execution being burnt at the stake of time kind of just as bad. But anyway, <laughs> my god. Uh, the extremes of escape. So, how about I let us speak in the room with Talemi, then? Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps? All that? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. Okay. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text, or anything else that would have pleased them. That's a good it's try. no purpose. It's our lives they are after. Of course. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. <clears throat> I'm not going to arrest them because I don't think they've done anything wrong personally. We'll speak to the Bridge Alliance. I could have a word with the good Dr. Zaheen, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. I think what we'll do, just for the moment, is give this to Kurt. I mean, he's a soldier after all, so it only makes sense in my opinion. I actually feel really sorry for them. They're just doing what they believe and, you know, they're basically being branded as small well, heretics, I suppose. Or, that may be probably too strong a word, but most certainly enemies, which really doesn't help. Now, which... Uh, <laughs> I kind of lost already which way I'm going with this. But... <laughs> The, the full plow you face to a certain direction completely confuses me, so... I'll just... Just give me a... Just give us a second, will ya? Just give us... A, come on! Oh, you can't jump down? Okay. <laughs> Fine. Very well, then. Oop. Right. I wonder where the other entrance goes. 
Right, let's just, uh, let's go and speak with this bridge alliance. Are you serious? Wow, well overburdened. Already? Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tad surprising. What's the quickest route there? Okay, so go up. Take a left, then a right. Now I know this is supposed to be like a big storage box we could use, but we obviously haven't received it yet, so kind of a shame. I suppose we could sell off things. Yeah. You know what? Let's actually do that. Don't you worry now. You'll get your merchandise. I was... Really? Ah. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, we'll take a progressive... <laughs> progressive jog down there. Oh, well. Right. Hmm. Your Excellency, Lady de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus. The founder of the mythical Teleme, and it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated. Or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Excellent. Beautiful. Don't need more information. Thank I you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Hmm. Farewell. Oh. You have a kind Cheers. heart, huh. green blood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. <laughs> okay. Looks like that's the only place we can actually... <clears throat> Butch it there. Oh, hang on. Oh. Is it... Oh. That... Oh, right. Because that's the vendor. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> so... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go down to the merchant then. <clears throat> Sell some stuff. I suppose I gotta try and keep an eye for that bookstore as well, don't I? Ah. Is your hat. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Uh well sell to be honest. I'm not gonna sell any of this stuff, I don't really want to. Mm, could uh 
Well, I suppose really we can just spread that among them, can't we? Stay in shirt, let's get rid of this. Okay, so that's actually part of... Oh, okay, so that's all from the same faction, good. Sell this. Good. Alright, let's get rid of a couple of these. Awesome. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Right, oh. Okay, so next on the list. Oh, new serene. Okay, so that must be where we're going then, I assume. Right. <coughs> Let's go and inform the uh, Ptolemy ambassador, I think. <coughs> Poor sod. And then I think we'll end the part. I wonder if we're going to have to lie about... We'll have the option about to lie to cover tracks or whatever, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Good day, Excellency. Lady Dasade. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, uh, well, we bring news. It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? I... Uh, I'm assuming the truth is saying that we helped them and if a lie means that they're going to use uh, the bridge lines as cover look, they're already at war, let's just... we don't need to... you know, let's just... Uh, smother up the truth a little bit, you know. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what this is about. I think we'll like cover our own ass. Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. True. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. Yes, it is. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. You pray, Cardinal. You pray. <laughs> oh, good. Got an extra I reputation. Must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Oh, lovely. Okay, not going to worry about uh, this. I'm going to actually get agility. Skill, definitely, I think I'm going to invest, try and slightly bounce out and get precise calibration. Alright, do it that way. Let's just walk outside, or just stand in the guy's, <laughs> guy's office like, no, no, we're just going to stand here as long as we want. <laughs> kind of rude. <laughs> now, I must confess, I'm kind of interested to look around there. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, talk to that new Serene, that's okay. Puffin, that, we're all but ready, aren't we? Yes, we are. Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll uh, end this part here, and what we'll do is, <coughs> excuse me, when we come back, I'll try and see if we can walk around here, with the sailor's coat on, 
Uh, there's too many problems, so they sort of intervene. It's like, what are you doing? We'll just back up. We won't bother. Uh, and after done that, we are going to uh, talk to the captain and raise anchor because we have done everything we can on this side. So, and I must admit, I have. A suspicious feeling that uh, <laughs> we might have a boss fight and the only reason I say that next time is because there were all these we, when we were in the pub at that tavern there was all these weird things about or oh, where they brought this creature back or whether or hauling this thing over or doing other stuff and it makes you think if you're trying to keep saying captivity that's a creature it's probably not going to want to be there and to be honest I said this was a that looked like a really good sort of arena for a boss fight or at least a fighting area it was just the right size looks suspicious to me <laughs> anyways we'll deal with that when it happens so uh, I'll catch you next time